What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be showing you guys what the anodizing process looks like for your paintball marker. I had got a Project G CS2 earlier this year and uh, I loved everything about it except for the color. So I did some research and looked into what it costed, uh, you know, financially for getting a marker anodized and I ended up going with Outlaw Anodizing. I priced a couple different anodizers out and looked what they had to offer and I ended up going with Outlaw Anodizing. Now I know you guys are going to be asking, how much does it cost to get your marker anodized? And that's a pretty good question. It varies across the board depending on how intricate you want to go with getting your marker anodized. Do you want a splash? Do you want just a fade? Or do you want to just change it to another solid color? You know, do you want a matte or glossy? These are all factors that kind of weigh into the pricing levels when getting your marker anodized. And obviously with the more intricacies you go into, the higher it's going to cost obviously due to labor. So here's Outlaw's pricing sheet. You can see it says dust solid is $200 and then it goes to a polished solid for $300. So you got about a $100 increase there. So if I wanted to do a polished finish, it would cost $100 more. Now keep in mind guys, the pricing you guys are looking at, this is all in US dollars. So if you're out in Canada like I am, you're gonna have to do the math on what that looks like uh, you know, in Canadian dollars. Uh, then moving on, you've got the dust multi, You've got polished multi, so that means more than one color. So if you want a tri-fade, so you want a black to a purple and then fading into a pink, that's what multi means. Uh, so then you have your polished multi, so extra, again, $100. Then we've got the dust premium. Now, don't quote me on these ones because I'm not 100% sure on what dust premium or polished premium really entails. I'm not sure if that's a splash finish or maybe an acid wash. Um, not too sure on what those ones would look like. Uh, and then you've got 3D, whatever that means. Not too sure on what 3D means either. But obviously, you know, you're stepping up the price quite a bit here. So what I ended up going with was a polished multi. They were running a Black Friday special on the dust multi. It was $100 off. So it was only $250 to get a dust multi and then I just paid the extra $100 because I wanted it to be a polished finish. Now we're going to jump back into the video here guys. If you were looking at that pricing sheet and notice at the very bottom it said disassembly and reassembly service 50 US dollars. Now if you're pretty tech savvy and want to save $50 like I did, you can disassemble the whole thing on your own time. And it takes quite a while. It's quite the lengthy process. Um, might I add, disassembly is a lot easier than reassembly. <laughs> if you can remember everything you took apart, uh, good for you. I managed to do it. Did it take a little bit of time? Yes. But we got it all done in the end. So like I said, guys, you're going to save $50 by doing that on your own. And then just shipping them the aluminum parts just don't forget anything. You definitely want to make sure when you're sending it to them, you're not forgetting, you know, the ASA shoe or something silly because that's going to be a bummer when you get your brand new anodized marker back and you forgot to send one of the parts and then you got to pay a little extra to do that. Um, anyways, you can see here, guys, uh, they did a really good job packaging this as they should. Uh, they wrapped it in this, like, I want to say it's like a foam type of a styrofoam wrap almost and uh, taped it all up individually, which was perfect. None of the pieces were scratched or damaged, uh, which is obviously exciting news when you're getting it back from anodizing. So the anodizing process does take a little bit of time, guys. For myself, I shipped the package out at the end of November and got it back in mid-February. Now, you gotta keep in mind, uh, this was over the Christmas break, so people take time off work, there are shipping delays that uh, occur when you're obviously shipping it over the Christmas holidays. Uh, so I probably added about six weeks of delays by sending it at the end of November. And uh, so just bear that in mind. If you're going to send your marker out uh, around the holidays, 
I expect there to be some more added delays into the process, but uh, it wasn't a big deal for me out here in Canada. It's kind of the off season for paintball, so it was a perfect time to send it to them for me because I'm not really out there balling too much. If I did have to go out and play indoor, uh, I just use one of my backup markers, which I'm fortunate to have. We've talked about pricing and we've talked about timelines. Next, I want to talk about inspiration pictures. If you decide to get your marker anodized, they are going to ask you, what color do you want it and do you have any inspiration pictures? So what I recommend doing for you guys is going online to some of the anodizers websites and checking to see if they have a photo gallery. Those two photos you guys just saw were from Arc Anodizing's website. They have a great gallery where you can check out all the different options and gain inspiration from. So finally, after months of waiting, we have it fully assembled and it is looking beautiful. We've got the nice purple to black polished fade and Outlaw did a killer job guys. Just want to give a huge shout out to those guys over there. They know what they're doing. So if you've got a project you want to send over to them, I would definitely recommend that with no hesitations. Alrighty, so we've got the Project GCS2 and we're gonna shoot it for the first time since we've got it back from anodizing. So let's air up. And we'll let her rip. She's smooth. So we can get a little bit of a different angle here. This paint's pretty nasty, but no breaks. There she is. Alrighty guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.